Folks, this is Paul Chamberlain from Beckley's Camping Center, the Air Force guy here, coming to you today to talk about the Aldi heating system. This is for water heater and your furnace in your RV. Now, this is the Aldi 3010. The one I'm in today is a, tab, a 2017 Tab 400. But regardless of what you have, if you have the 3010, it's going to work very similar. It's going to be very similar to this one. But first thing, before we're going to talk about this, let me talk to you about a temperature control. Now, I'm not sure where it's going to be located on your particular camper, but on the, on the Tab 400, on the off-door side, in the rear compartment here, after the wheel, is a little temperature control valve. And that will control how hot this system will get. And be very careful when they come from the factory it's turned all the way down so that's something you would experiment with as you can see the Aldi exhaust is back over on this side as well so be careful on what you set that on because it, it could be very dangerous especially with the with the water heater but let's go go in and take a look and see how this system works so what we have here is right now it's off you see I don't have a green light or anything so when I turn it on initially See the Aldi 3010. You can see the temperature in the camper is 82 degrees, and I am plugged into electric. There you can see that. Next, if I hit the menu button, you can see, let me just shut some things off here. Right now, everything is off. So the heat is controlled on the top. That's going to be your thermostat. So you push the plus or minus. Then, of course, your water heater is here. But now, if you do not have the electric or the propane in the on position, it will not heat. So it's very important that you have one, of, one or both of those on. So what you have is, let's say we want to go ahead and turn the furnace on. You can go ahead and do propane if you want. You can shut that off. If you want to do electric, you can do it. You have two settings. You have low, which will be kind of economy, or you have high. Now, if you wanted to, if it was really extreme, you know, you could always have both of those on. You could do the same thing for the water heater. Now, let's say you want to take multiple showers. You want, you have a two and a half gallon uh, holding tank for the water heater on this, on this particular system. And what you could do is you could increase how much you're heating that water by taking that up to the full, full amount there. And what that'll do for you is heat the water at the fastest capacity. So that is how that works. If you have both the propane and electric on, and this, as you can see, the triangle all the way up there, the rect whatever you want to call that, that is all the way up. Now, standard is the standard heat for the water heater is there, and that's the lowest setting you have. But remember, you have that temperature control on the opposite side. So you have either electric or you have propane, and then, of course, you have the power to do both. This down here is just in case you want to lock the system. You can and set yourself up a password and so forth. But when you're done with that, what will happen is after a few, it's going to shoot to this screen here, and it'll just tell you what temperature you have inside the unit. Again, we're in a tab 400, and that's how it, this, this works. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully that helped you out. For any more information on this or um, or any RV other questions, just reach out to Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Beckley's Camping Center. And I'm the go-to guy when you're in the market. We're in Thurmont, Maryland, just 30 minutes south of Gettysburg, PA, right on Route 15. Thanks for watching and have a great day.